So tell me about your film that's been showing here at the Long Island Film Expo. Uh, well, the film is called This Is Love, and uh, it's actually inspired by uh, spaghetti western music that I um, have a collection of. Uh, and Ennio Morricone is the composer. And um, I told this uh, story about a couple, and they're on the beach, and the man proposes to the woman. She receives the ring. She starts to second guess whether or not this is right for her. Um, and we get kind of the insinuation that she's been in an abusive relationship. So uh, the music really tells the story, too, a lot on its own. But it also transitions to a dream sequence where it's an interpretive dance that re um, represents the battle that they're going through within their relationship. So um, it's like most, uh, you see most like couples or relationships, like the male is like the dominant one of the, mm -hmm. so like this man's been dominating her life for the long, for the whole time they've been together. And now mm -hmm. it's kind of like a reinterpretation of her battling for her control of her own life. And then she ends up taking drastic measures to end it indefinitely so oh. she can be free from that all that. That sounds really interesting. Yeah. Now, um, do the actors dance in it as well? So, do you did you hire actor dancers? Um, yeah, um, yeah. So, I th my actress, she's very has a dance background. Oh, okay. The cool. actor had uh, has a uh, did some dancing too as well. So, uh, I hired a choreographer. Oh. Okay. Um, Elizabeth De Janeiro. She um, she does burlesque shows and stuff. It's actually Wild Cherries. It's really good. Look it up. Long Island based too. We all collaborated together to make it work and it just came out really, really beautiful actually. It turned out really good. How did you find your actors for this? Um, well, my actress Alexandra Vino, who's very talented, She's uh, she was in How to Make It in America and uh, what's that TV show? Golden. She's going to hate oh, me. Oh, Golden from Boy. Golden Boy. She, was, yeah. she had a, uh, a role in that as well. A um, good friend of mine, she was in previous work that I've done as well. And, uh, you know, I, I brought her onto the project. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she actually, I said, find me a guy. Find me some, you know, show me some. So she showed me a couple of headshots, and I picked uh, the one, the first guy that I chose is the one that we went with, oh, Dave cool. Coleman. Yep. Cool. Now, as a Long Island based filmmaker, um, how how do you think your work differs from maybe a filmmaker who's based in a larger market? like? LA or New York City, maybe it could be easier to continue to make work if, if you live somewhere somewhere outside of the big cities where everyone's trying to make a film. Yeah. So. I, I think starting out in New York is probably the best place to start mm -hmm. because um, what they say in LA and all that, that New York's got a certain attitude that they love yeah. over there, you know. And um, I think if you I think to to get some kind of discipline in this business, I think New York will probably be the best thing to start out with, and that's what's great about Long Island too. Especially, I mean, being somewhere where you are from, yeah, you know, you have more connections rather right. than going People out can there. Help you. Yeah, so I feel like mm -hmm. you know, I think wherever you really start out from is probably the best thing because you have more resources to right. work with. Right. So. And now what's next for you? Are you working on anything coming out or anything uh, in development? Yeah. Um, I have, I'm working on an audio book. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, if I could tell you about it. It's, um, it's actually an erotic series. Okay. Um, that, um, Did right, you write it? Wrote it. <laughs> I'm actually, what it is, I'm not putting out in text. I'm actually selling it on iTunes. I, I wrote it. I'm narrating it. Mm -hmm. And I have a music composer composing music underneath, so it's kind of, uh, oh. yeah, so uh, it's going to be sent out as like audio tracks. Oh, very cool. No visuals, but it's very, it's not, it's not like anything like um, derogatory or anything like that. It's very poetic and passionate, you know, like, so I, I feel like, you know, try and do something a little different. Yeah. Um, that would sell maybe. And then I also have a feature that I wrote, but working on trying to get investors for. Right. So. Where do you find investors for your films? I don't know. You want to tell me? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I know. I think that's always um, the big question, well, that you have an idea for a project you want to make or produce, but then where do you find, how do you get the money? Where do you find the investors? I mean, I think that's coming to like the Long Island International Film Expo is this is the place to find people like that, you, you know, because you're going to yeah. meet producers, you're going to meet investors, production assistants, script 
writers, all everybody. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why the film festivals are great for what they are, because yeah. that's where you're going to meet those kinds of people. Right. Like. Now I know you've been showing here at the Long Island Film Expo for a few years now. Um, so how has it helped you as a Long Island-based filmmaker? Oh, my Facebook's blown up today. But uh, <laughs> um, no, it's uh, it's been really good. Um, the two years prior when I uh, won originally for the Best Long Island Short, uh, my other film actually led me to, um, my library actually contacted me somehow. Oh. Yeah, and they wanted me to teach a film class to young kids and um, and then show, I have a special screening of my work there as well. But um, and even that, like I was uh, with one of my projects, it got me an internship. I was, um, back in 2009 with uh, Spike Lee. Oh, cool. um, and I was actually hired as one of his assistants uh, for some time and worked with him throughout the course of like four years on a few projects. Um, but yeah, you know, like it just if if you believe in it, you make the like whatever your projects, your ideas, you make it happen, and then you just show it, you know. Yeah, it and then it goes goes from there. Yeah, it just goes from there. Cool. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you.